Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. After winning the 1860 presidential election, Abraham Lincoln repeated his long-held opposition to the spread of slavery in the federal territories. He promised, however, that the federal government would not take action against slavery in the states where it existed. After the Civil War started, Lincoln vowed to preserve the Union against secession and insurrection, but said nothing about the abolition of slavery. Lincoln explained his position in a letter on August 22, 1862, to Horace Greeley, editor of the New York Tribune. My paramount objective in this struggle is to save the Union, and is not either to save or to destroy slavery. If I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. Lincoln concluded, I have here stated my purpose according to my view of official duty, and I intend no modification of my oft-expressed personal wish that all men everywhere could be free. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute. <laughs>